I would say good morning, only it's 5.14 p.m. on Monday, November 11th. It's been a busy day. Did I even <laughs> vlog yesterday? I don't even know. Um, we ended up um, doing some last minute babysitting last night. And then we ended up having the kids over for dinner unexpectedly last night. <laughs> so it's been, it's been a little crazy. Um, the last few days have been a little crazy. So I haven't done my daily drawing since the 6th. I have five days to catch up on. So we're going to do that now. <laughs> I spent the day doing a few errands, little chores. And I had to make an airport run first. I'm looking down because I'm putting my dates on my book while I'm talking to you. Um, I had to make an airport run for somebody who was going out of town. Because, you know, I've said it before. I'll say it again. I'm the family taxi cab. <laughs> Which is fine. Um, I have to go to the airport again on Wednesday to pick my dad up. Uh, it's a kind of funny. Anyway. Um, in between, I am going to be working on some uh, projects here in the art room, catching up on things, um, doing some a, a little bit of cleaning and reorganizing, not a lot, um, but there are some things that I wasn't ready to deal with the first, well, the last go round um, that I need to take a second look at. So... We'll be doing that at some point. Um, it's just, it's been a blur. Can you tell? And at the same time, I just kind of want to like, I'm still struggling and I want to just sit in my chair and yeah. But anyway, we are, um, we're going to do my daily drawings. I'm going to listen to some YouTube while I'm doing it and we're going to catch up. I'm also going to do my daily writing and that sort of thing. And so let's get that done. And Bob's not off of work yet, so we have time. We are babysitting the dog for a little bit, uh, our daughter's dog. And uh, it's so dark outside and it's been raining on and off all day, but I don't know if we'll be going for a W-A-L-K or not, but I guess we'll find out. I'll be back. Yes, it's dark out here. We are indeed taking Grand Dog out for a walk. Can't really see any of us because it's dark. But we have the please don't squish, squish me reflective straps on and I've got a flashlight. And we'll get a few steps in before we come back and have Wait. dinner. Jesus Christ. I still have to do dishes and sort laundry, but you know, chores are never my priority. Never. I'd rather sit in the art room all day and create stuff, which is what I did once I got home from the airport. So anyway, all right. And I think later today I will make a hippopotamus because I have a pattern for a hippopotamus. All right, I'll be back. Okay, it's lunchtime on Tuesday. I have not edited the vlog yet, which is supposed to go up tomorrow. So after lunch, I guess that's what I'm working on. This morning I was, well, I slept in. <laughs> um... And I did my some of my psychiatric homework. And then I reorganized a couple things in the art room that have been kind of bugging me. That does mean I do have a pile of stuff to let go of um, that I'm not using, doesn't suit. So, <laughs> Leslie, you'll probably get a box. Anyway, we're out on a quick lunchtime walk with Grand Dog. 
Crazy pants. Crazy, yeah, AKA crazy pants. Uh, to get a few steps in since later today, it's gonna be raining probably like crazy again. It gets dark super early, all those things. So anyway, somebody remind me when we get back to turn my computer on because I'm not even sure if I did that this morning. All right, I'll be back. Okay guys, so I sat this afternoon after we got back from our walk and I made a little otter. How cute is he? Um, when I was cleaning out some stuff and reorganizing things just a little bit, I happened to find, didn't even know it was in there, this tarot card, which I think is good. Those of you who know better than me out there, let me know. Um, so yeah, got things kind of sort of ready to go downstairs, but we're not going to do that yet. We're going to stay upstairs for a little bit longer. The vlog is edited and loaded. I'm going to catch up on daily drawings. And then we're going to make a panda bear, because why not? Um, for those asking, I kind of did something to my wrist babysitting Junior. It's a little sore and tender, so anyway. He is like 40 pounds, so not surprised. All right, let's get it done and have fun while we're doing it. I'll be back. Wednesday, November 13th. It's almost 11 a.m. Um, so I'm going to hit the road in a little bit here. I'm going to go out and run some errands, crafty errands um, for the most part. And I've got to pick my dad up at the airport, but I also don't want to rush. I don't want to be late and I don't want to ramp up my anxiety. So we're going to give myself plenty of time to get all the things done I want to and still get to the airport early. I'd rather be there early than late. So Anyway, we're gonna grab a few things and hit the road. I'll be back. Hey guys, all right, it is the end of the day on Friday. I don't think I vlogged all day today <gasps> and I'm oh not God. sure about yesterday, I don't know. Oh my God. 
Not that I've been super busy because I haven't, just doing chores in the usual. Made a couple more stuffed animals. I'll put them here. Cute, um, cute, cute, cute. Yeah, they're really cute. Um, I'm gonna work on a spider next. Anyway, we are taking Grand Dog out for a walk. And then we have to go to the kid's house and check the mail. And then we'll have dinner. It's sometime after five o'clock. I have had requests from you guys to do some more junk journaling, junk journal making, journal making, book binding. So we'll work on that in the future. I did film a art for therapy video yesterday, Wednesday. I don't know. Yeah, I think I think yesterday. Um, the week's been a blur. Can you tell? <laughs> anyway, we got our new furniture yesterday for our front room. So one of the things I've been doing is rehanging photos and stuff like that. Um, we do need a couple more pieces of furniture for that room. It's going to be sort of a lounge hangout spot. Bob and I both can see us just hanging out in there, uh, reading, crocheting on my end anyway him watching things on his tablet instead of being in the big room with the tv on because we don't always have the tv on anyway we're gonna go get a walk in it is cold i don't think it's 50 degrees 48. i think it's like okay 48 degrees so winter's here uh anyway we're gonna go get a walk in hopefully get you know who to do her business and then go get the kids' mail and all the things. So we'll be back. Good morning. <clears throat> Saturday morning, it's 10.23. Bob is out walking the dog, and I stayed home to do a few chores. I got the dishes done. I got myself showered and dressed. Some days, that's half the battle. Y'all know what I mean. Um, but anyway, got the dishes done. I got the plants watered. I had to put a seat protector on the back of the passenger side seat in my car because Junior likes to kick the back of the seat, which is, I mean, that's fine, but um, gets a little muddy. So we put a seat protector on there. I just put the seat protector on. We bought a couple of new chairs a while ago and they just came in. That's Mr. Bob's chair. This is my chair and uh, made in the USA, actually made in Indiana. Um, anyway, I got that done. Got a bunch of random chores done uh, while he's out walking the dog. And then we're going to go run a couple of errands, including check the kid's mail, which we haven't done yet and I need to do. So we want to kind of tire her out first. So he took a shower first and went out and is doing that while I stayed back to do some chores. So, yeah. All right. Uh, I think that's it for the minute. I think I'm going to sit and have some water. And, yeah. All right. Oh, I did make a, a spider last night from a pattern I got off of Etsy. Um, I'll put it here. It turned out so cute, you guys. The pattern is so easy. I will include it um, in the video description. If I forget somebody, let me know. I am going to make a couple more. It turned out so cute. Um, so I have some variegated yarn. I want to make a rainbow one. And then I have some yarn that's left over from another project that's varying shades of pink. Um, more of a color blocking yarn rather than speckles of color. Anyway, so I'm going to make a couple more spiders because they were so cute. All right, not right this second, but yeah. All right, time to move my rear end off of the, my new chair. I love it, my new chair. We need a table between the chairs because Bob and I so can see sitting out here more often than not. Uh, reading me would be crocheting with our coffee. Uh, we need a table though for the cup. So yeah, at some point, probably when Grand Dog goes home, we will be looking for a table, so. All right. Still need to move my rear end out of the chair. <laughs> Some days it's like that, you all know what I mean. All right, 
That's it for the minute. I'll be back. tell you you're very precariously perched <clears throat> on a coaster on a heart-shaped bottle of glitter on my phone stand <laughs> we, we won't talk about it because god forbid i should get a proper thing out because it's far away it's up there <laughs> story of my life lately anyway as you guys know from the fact that there hasn't been too many tutorials, there's been a lot of vlogs and that I've spoken about it in said vlogs. I've been struggling lately with my mental health. I'm working on it and it's coming along slowly, but you know, it is what it is. So I need to just go <clears throat> in the direction where I'm happiest and I'm most inspired. And lately it's been ne sewing, needlework and crochet. I am loving making amigurumi, if you can tell by how full this bucket is. So I have made a few really big ones um, before and right after my grandson was born. And then I made a few little ones. In fact, I originally made two and they just sat on the table for months. He did play with them. Um, if I can find one of them. One of them is a bumblebee. One of them is a little blue penguin. They're in the bottom somewhere. Um, I made them all like, I, oh, here's the bumblebee. So this is one of the original ones that I made. And I always intended to go back to making it because I used, okay, so I used the pattern I made this one um, to make this one and then a big one. I used the same pattern. All I did was change the yarn and hook size. And I found with most of the amigurumi, I can do that and alter the size of what I get. I prefer working on the little ones with a three weight or DK yarn and um, use a three millimeter crochet hook. Um, you can take the same pattern and use blanket yarn and a, an appropriate size hook and make, I, I did, I've made this one much, much bigger. Um, and um, that's all well and good, but I like making these little ones and you know, I've made a bunch of them right now. I've this pattern is really cute. Now, this is from an Etsy seller. Um, she does, she has patterns in her store. I really like the spider, I like it so much. I've made three super cute, super easy. Um, and uh, yeah, so um, I will I'll link her store in the video description. If I forget any of these links, you guys uh, post it down below. Um, you know, we've got the squirrel. We've got an American Eagle with an Uncle Sam hat. He's probably the biggest one I've done uh, lately. But I'm really enjoying these. They make me happy. They make me smile. They make me laugh, especially when they turn out kind of goofy. And this is how he should look from the pattern. He's a little goofball. Um, I mean, how do you not just smile when you see that? So I'm I'm having a good time with that. And um sorry, the husband's downstairs banging around. I don't know what he's doing. I'm having a really good time with that right now. I am getting slowly back into journaling and I did film a uh art journaling video this week that was more art for therapy journaling, but I did film it and we will be editing that and getting it up soon. Um and I do have some ideas for doing some um video for making like junk journals literally out of stuff I find that I have like a no buy journal making video no buy zero 
Use what you have. Um, can I do that with yarn? No, but um, I mean, I can. Do I want to? I don't really. But we will do that with a junk yarn because the whole point is that it's junk. It's stuff that you're going to normally throw out and um, that you probably have stashed away in your art room somewhere. So anyway, we'll be working on some of those. In the meantime, I'm also gonna continue with the crochet and needlework. I forgot how much I love this. My whole life with sewing and crochet, I seem to go through periods of time where I do it for years or decades, and then I just put it down for a while and I just don't go back to it for a good long while. And I think maybe I should get rid of it. And as soon as I think that, I start doing it again. That's exactly what happened this time. Um, so if you're that way, don't feel bad. I'm that way too. Anyway, tomorrow is going to be another chill at home day. I'm selling some antique chairs and I have a buyer coming by for those in the morning. I'm also giving away some yarn that I've already made something with and it's project leftovers and also yarn I don't like working with. Somebody else in the neighborhood can use it so she's going to come by and pick it up. Um, and other than that, we have the dog still. So that she likes her people. We don't like leaving her home alone. So that limits what we will do. We will probably take her for a walk, weather permitting. Uh, other than that, we're going to be home and I'm going to, I have a pattern for a bunch of little teeny tiny mushroom creatures. And I'm thinking about making them into keychains. They're so cute. And I think they might be good for using up uh, leftover DK yarn, the little tiny bits. So We'll see. Oh, this is my funniest one I think I've made. He's a copybara. Is that how you say that? That's probably all butchered. <laughs> he's totally cute. I He's supposed to be brown and tan, but I mean, I didn't. Why not have fun with it? Anyway, I'd love to know what you guys are up to. If you have suggestions or ideas of things you'd like to see on the channel, let me know help spark that creative imagination in my brain. I sure would appreciate it. Uh, and, uh, you know, just do what you love and do what is inspiring you. You know, if you're, your art room's like me, it doesn't just have drawing and painting or journaling stuff in it. And that's because we float around from one thing to the other thing. You know what? That's okay. I'm just like that. So um, here's another funny one. It's a giraffe. Anyway, um, just do what you enjoy, do what you love. And if you have suggestions, comments, or concerns, please do leave them down below. Check out the video description for relevant links. And above all, just go out and have a good day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'm going to go have a late night iced coffee and probably some dessert. I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.